season is finally here. Get the blast off at six. You know, we don't get the blast off till seven because Aaron wants me to be there for two hours early, it seems like. No, everything's been going smooth. I got up right. The only thing that's not working is my phone. I have no service right now. So my marshal is probably texting me wondering where I'm at, but you know, we're here. I've been ready to get this going. It's been a it's been a short but fast off season. A lot of stuff changed. A lot of you I don't know, which I never really did post anything about it, is I'm actually a professional fisherman this year. We got rid of it, or we didn't get rid of it. We sold the hardware store to my buddy Jared. So nothing's changed, just we're not there anymore. So that was kind of kind of a big change for me. So now I better make it fishing. So that means I have to cut checks. So uh, me and Eric can get paid. But I'm looking forward to this, get it going. And uh, it's going to happen. Like there's going to be some bags caught this week. I mean, there always is in these tournaments. But this week will be another heavyweight deal because they're, they're big ones here. That's Texas. They live here. I just hope I'm one of those guys that catches them. I'd like to, I'd really like to start the year off with a top 10 or top 20. It'd be sweet. I never really started off the season strong. So maybe Toledo's going to be good to us, but it is going to be one bumpy son of a gun this morning. So let's strap her down and get after it. Nothing works. So now we have a little bit of camera failure issue. Normal. It's always something. But then if it went smooth, we wouldn't know what the hell was going on. So we're gonna take it. We're still gonna catch them. Just gonna see what's gonna happen. I'm, uh, the anxiousness is about to be over with. It's about to start happening. About to get after it. We'll be alright. Right, Aaron. <laughs>
Holy shit. something really small with Great Lakes the next tomorrow. We're looking at you know, a lot of verbal winds and stuff like that. Water's clean. These fish are getting pretty uh, acclimated to what's going on. And uh, what's really sweet is this rod here sets up perfect. It's a new 7.2 medium light from Falcon. It's got a tip. It is perfect for the Cindy rig. Anytime you're trying to do anything with forward facing sonar, throwing out to fish, um, this rod is going to be ideal, especially when you got a 3 16 up to almost a 3 8 somewhere right in that area, 
rod sets up perfectly at light line. It's got a very good tip to it. Definitely ideal. That's what I caught my big fish on today. Uh, 9 6. So, rod's definitely juice. Got our jerk baits tied on, chatter baits, got a trap tied on. Things are going to kind of change up a little bit tomorrow. We got north wind coming in, so that's going to be different, but it could actually play into my hand a lot better where I'm at. So, so I'm looking forward. I'm not going to change up much from the day. So, looking forward to it. Let's get tomorrow going. Got everything rigged up. I'm not going to have a bunch of rods out, a bunch of different crap like I did today. I'm going to stay pretty, not going to get cute and fancy like I thought I was doing today. So, none of that stuff worked. Stick with my guns, keep jerking, ripping, trapping, slinging, bringing, and uh, drop the sonar meter on their head. Day two, guys. Yesterday was a grind. I mean, it didn't look good on paper, which I'll take it every day, but it was definitely a grind. You know, I caught the big and it really made a difference. But today, we got sun. Hopefully, that's going to be the deal because the sun was poked out yesterday. It got good. That's when everything started happening. So, looking for that today. Hopefully, it happens. We got some north wind, though. I don't know how that's going to affect my fish or not. At least we'll be able to fish today. Yesterday was brutal. My main area got trashed, but we'll see. I'm excited, got a live camera today. We have one of them in here. So, let's go whack on them. I got a few minutes. 180 days ago, we left each other up in New York when we finished off the 2023 season, kicking it off here in beautiful Manny, Louisiana. 103 anglers battling it out. 50 will move into semifinal Saturday, and only the top 10 fish on Championship Sunday. The Gamakatsu Bassmaster Elite on Toledo Bay. For our day two, I hope things are gonna pan out. You know, yesterday I ended up having a big day, had 25 with the, when it happened though, is when the sun was out for me. Um, yesterday morning, just got off to a quick start, caught them real quick. Um, and then it was, then it went on a big time lull for me. It was like three hours probably before I caught another fish. Uh, had a bunch of followers, wouldn't eat. Uh, finally, at 1.30, the sun started peeking out just a little bit. Boom, I catch a nine. Uh, lose a couple four and a half five pounders and I catch a four and a half so things were starting to get going yesterday evening late um, we got early checking today so that's not but we got sun uh, we got a complete wind direction difference it's not blowing near as hard I had a, a real struggle with the wind yesterday because I was only way I could catch them was doing a couple certain things so hopefully today's just right and it goes as planned like we need it to Let's go get them. Uh, I'm ready. I hope we freaking jack them with it. We're at the Hunter Elite Series champion catch them here again this week. You may want to watch him all day long on Bass Live. Luke Palmer. Big as I thought she was. But that'll get her started. I was wondering if we was ever gonna get started. One forty five for it. It's gotta be a pretty decent one. Ah, 
JBD grab. It's a miracle. <sighs> Finally. Oh. Not a big one, but it is another fish. <sighs> on the littlest bait you can possibly have, I can promise you. Yes! Yes, sir! Woo! <laughs> Little bait, baby! <laughs> Dude, that fish, I watched, she just, there was no playing around when she got it. <sighs> I was a nervous wreck with that little bitty. <laughs> oh, that was sweet. <sighs> oh, man. Probably four pounder, huh? Oh yeah, three and a half. That's the new uh, the new Falcon we just came out with that I kind of helped design. It's a 7.2 medium light. And I thought it was going to be a just up north rod. Now it's uh, like sonar minnow and stuff like that, especially when you stay down like the quarter ounce. Listen here, you can see how soft it is when I just pull it into it. Was... Felt good. I was getting nervous that he's going to catch a fish today. I think as the same fish yesterday, I had her, she was on that stump and she wouldn't ever come up and eat. I was throwing a big bait and picked up the little guy here, bringing in into action. It ain't that big. Definitely more than what we got right now. Yes, sir. Here we go. Popped right out. <laughs> Just popped out. Oh, there we go. Why does everybody else look so small compared to that other one? <sighs> Getting closer, man. I get fish tomorrow. Hell yeah! Kyle, give me an oh yeah! Come on, Kyle. Come on, do it for the gram. <laughs> I love Kyle. He's my buddy. He's such a good guy, too. Yeah. No. 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 Yeah. Something that you dang sure wouldn't expect it here. I mean. It's a, literally a 3 16 ounce jig head with a great lace finesse drop minnow. I mean, it's a dink, but I think that pressure is starting to get to him. I mean, instantly that fish there dropped right on him, turned on it, and he, he, uh, he nailed her. Like he wanted it now. I know it's weird throwing something this small for, you know, bass, but uh, what's well, a good thing about their 
this jig head is it's got a it's got a really good stiff hook in it, so it doesn't flex out, especially on these big ones. I mean, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and retie because that probably would be a terrible idea to break off out here in the middle of nowhere. But I just run a. I've actually switched to where I run a 10 pound leader almost nonstop, a 10 pound Sunline Sniper. Um, it's it's that leader material. I like it because it's a smaller smaller packaging, so you can. Uh, just keep a little low spool where you know handy to get in there But the key I've noticed though. I didn't do this my first pretty good while with the sonar minnow was uh, I didn't tie a loop knot Because one reason I didn't know how So I figured that out and that loop knot allows that bait to swing more freely and uh, it, I, it makes a big difference how that bait falls and everything So definitely definitely learn to tie the old loop knot with it and uh, it'll definitely help you. I wish I could show you, but I'm shaking some daggum bad right now. And my hands are so dry. That's what Baby Doxy told me. He said, why don't you get sponsored by like working hand hands or something? Well, that'd probably be a good idea. As bad as mine are cut up from hurting right now, that'd probably be a good idea. Well, that's the thing, it allows that bait to be a lot more free, it gives that little bit of play. And uh, we get to go play now. take the lead here today. 20 pounds, two ounces with 45 pounds and three ounces. Luke Palmer is leading the Kamikatsu Bass Master Elite at Toledo Bend. 45 pounds, three ounces, and uh, you are leading this whole deal. And the best thing is everybody predicted it's just going to get better into the weekend and you're going to be part of it. You know, that's one thing. Texas has always kind of been that place. It's been real finicky for me. They're doing really good or really bad. And, you know, to start off the year, I haven't I haven't made a cut in the first tournament in a couple of years now, so it feels good to make a cut, get that paycheck, and uh, hopefully don't have to eat Lunchables this weekend. Maybe we can go get a uh, steak or probably chicken. That steak's probably too expensive for us. But, uh, well, we might have some crawfish in the house, too. That'd be all right. You know, I'm hoping tomorrow I can tra trade these hook pants in for some hook shorts. Let's go catch some biggest tomorrow. Make it happen. We'll see you back here tomorrow. Well, that was a very long, frustrating day, but best of 20. Uh, gosh dang it, it was a grind, grind, grind today. Uh, you know, I didn't catch with seven or eight keepers probably. Uh, I just couldn't get rid of a two pounder. Uh, but, you know, tomorrow's a new day. Hopefully things really pan out and uh, we can somehow catch a big bag, man. I, I, I mean, 25 is big, but I want to bust a 30. And a dirty 30 would be real handy for us tomorrow. Uh, bust that and make the top 10 and uh, roll into the fort on Sunday night instead of Sunday day. That's the plan. Now, our head's going to be starter. Baby Docs has already got, this is nice, check that out. Back's in for us. It's like our own little show for It's nice. Nice having buddies. So, 
loader up and get something to eat. I haven't ate all day again. So, let's see what happens. I'm ready to, I'm ready to have a fun day. Day three, still in the top 10, loving that. Hopefully we can go ahead and stay in that top 10 going into day four, looking for it. Uh, you know, it's like I said, today's gonna be a lot different, I think. You know, yesterday we had some north wind, blew pretty hard. Um, today it's supposed to be even, you know, it's supposed to calm down, I think. So we still got blue bird skies, which is what I wanted. Uh, so it's determined on how those fish are gonna react to this weather. It's a little bit cooler this morning, so I think this first right off the bat morning bite could be very crucial for me, especially up shallow with my jerk bait and stuff. So we're gonna go run it for a while. I'm gonna beat it into the ground just like I did yesterday. But uh, I might pull the plug a little bit earlier today if nothing's really happening. So, and then maybe go back to it this afternoon once things calm down. So it'll be interesting. I'm ready to go check it out and see what's gonna happen. I'm, I don't know. I don't have a bad feeling this morning. We ate crawfish last night, so I'll be good. Here they all come. I think it's a good one. Yeah, good one. Yeah, baby, there we go. Gee, maybe it's what it was, the color or well. What's crazy is I up my size of my jig. You think that'd be a worse idea? But that fish, they came from Never Everland to eat it. I'll say that's got to be a money shot. It's a little pot on baby hit us a pot. Yes. Keep them rolling, baby, keep them rolling. That's not cool. Just 
Kale's dead. Probably. Bye. Giant. That one's for you, Zona. Big rod, well, it is a jerkbait rod, but it wasn't no finning rod, son. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> she was, oh, she was like, she was, Start working on a little bit now, son. Remember what this one is. Those are too big. Pretty sweet when you're balancing being fish. Or like this. I don't think this is, I think this is that one that I... I'm shaking. I don't know why. There ain't no comparison there. Either. person there either. Oh, that's a nice little bass. And the drink. More like that, we'll get good. qualifier from Colgate, Oklahoma, Luke Palmer.
the receiver, the back on the stage here after getting her taco boy big sticker. 45 pounds and three ounces going into the day. Today, 22 pounds, 15 ounces. A brand new leader with 68 pounds and two ounces. Get loud for Luce Palmer. pounds and two ounces you are leading this tournament with just three anglers left to weigh in and then we'll be bringing out our top 10 and i'm not real good at math but that means you are guaranteed to be fishing on championship sunday and special things happen on championship sunday boy it does it dang sure feels good to get his top 10 started out in the year and to come out the big crowd and putting the fish up on the stage means everything and the crowd makes everything better i mean thank you guys for showing out for this it's big time one thing you can do for me do go check out living the bass life We've got a youtube going and i guarantee you this one is going to be very entertaining we got a crew we're staying with and uh it's uh it's it's quite the excitement going on out there in that boat following me around all week so i'm excited big things can happen tomorrow we all catch 30, 35, heck, 40. Why not? Go ahead and blow out, get us 100. And I want a belt. I need to get a belt. I don't have one, and I want to get that 100-pound belt. Go make it happen. Day three in the books. Setting forth. A little bit out of the lead, just, just 10 pounds. But pretty stoked to be in the top 10. First one of the year. First one I've had in the top 10 in the first tournament ever. So this is pretty sweet to get it started, get it rolling right. Uh, man, it was it was a grind again. I mean, I, it's it's not like I'm catching a ton of fish. I think I caught nine or ten keepers a day, but five of them of the right ones had just under 23 pounds. So it was definitely less stressful today compared to yesterday. But we go out tomorrow, and you know we're going to fling it for sure. But I'm not going to change up a lot. You know, just try to stay consistent. Catch me 20 to 25 tomorrow would be ideal you know stay at least in fourth get some points get some cash flow go to fork and uh hopefully pop us another one and roll into the classic with some freaking momentum that would be epic but right now it's uh it's gonna be a fun evening the boys are back in town so let's go get us something to eat and drink get paid get paid <laughs>how you feel this morning man i said it on stage you have gone you've shifted your career it feels like from the guy who is steady and just you know always making top 50s you're a lot more volatile now but you're a lot more dangerous is there something you changed to get that way i went and watched christy fish a couple days and i was like hey you know he he likes to he wants to win you know and finally getting a win last year was gave me that confidence boost to say hey Go swinging, you know. I've, like you said, I wanted to establish myself in the career first, and now once I've, I feel like I've kind of established myself that I'm really here, I'm going to go swing and I want to win again. Special, Special things happen on Championship, championship Sunday. Sunday. We'd love to see it happen for you. The first Canadian ever that would to win be sweet. Bassmaster Elite Series. Day four, man. How you doing? I'm, I'm kind of pumped up. Like I mean, like you said, it's day four. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta get there. And we made that feat, so. Uh, we're bringing out the Dirty 30 stash today, boys. That's a bus 30. I'm not, I don't know. I'm, I'm excited today, but I'm not like, woo! Probably because I'm give out. <laughs> I am tired. But I'm glad to be tired and glad to be fishing on Sunday because I'm glad not to be driving a fork yet. So we'll just get there late tonight. That'll be all right. Oh man, let's go catch. I want 30 today. I want to pull out there and just pick them right off the bat and get serious with it. That'd be awesome.
I am ready for it to warm up. <laughs> Only 28 more pounds to go. Okay. Way more than that. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Big. Yes, sir, there we go. Yes. It's good in there, baby. Yes. Keep at them. Yes. We're just gonna start us a big side right now. Start us a freaking big side, baby. Yes. Sorry fish, I was trying to get stopped before we run into this dock. And she's in the mouth too, so that's a good one. Yay, finally! <laughs> He's like, I don't want to be in here anymore, this giant. Go. Stop. Okay. I'm gonna let one of you go. Okay, a little largey. Okay, so that spot's next. 
Wow. Huh. Yeah, yeah, three and a quarter. That was that one that was on the bed yesterday. You can see the bed right there. Still flipping. Be still, buddy. I was like, uh oh. I thought we had us a big one for a second. Pretty sure I know which one we're calling out. This one. He's a five-time Bassmaster Classic qualifier. He's an elite series champion. He is a calm, cool cat from Colgate, Oklahoma. Luke Palmer. 68 pounds and two ounces. Five fish to add to that here today. 18 pounds, two ounces. He moves into third place with 86 pounds and four ounces. And with each and every angler, Patrick Walters gets a little more comfortable. 86 pounds, four ounces, and man, this is a great start to the season. What a fishery, what a crowd. I mean, you gotta be happy to be back on the Elite Series. No, you know, it, it was fun. You know, today it was, uh, it started out, we thought things were going to go right, and it went wrong real quick. But hey, that's part of it. I was tickled to death to make the top 10 here, especially on Toledo. I had never had never really been down to this place and fished much, so getting some new new vibes for it, I kind of like it. So we might have to come back to this place, especially Louisiana side. They show out for the crowds, I guarantee you. Yeah. You know, I can't thank the guys, Tony and Baby Docs, we stay with them this week. Cook for us, made drinks for us. Probably shouldn't have had so many of those this week. That might have been the issue today. But, you know, it was a <laughs> it was a heck of a week. Can't ask for anything better. Um, broke out the new 7-2 Falcon rod with the Cindy rig. Actually, has really put a lot of fish in the boat for me this week. So, drop down a little bit every now and then. Put some big fish in the boat. But, you know, I'm just ready to keep going. I want to go get another top 10, roll in this classic, and go really well on this classic. Love to see that happen for you. Safe travels to Lake Fork. We'll see you there. Well, that's a wrap here at Toledo Bend. It was it was a fun one. It was tough. We prevailed, got us a top 10 finish, ended up six here at Toledo Bend. So can't be more happy in starting off the year as a top 10 than that. I mean, it was a it was a grind. You know, I'd done the scope and I jerked. I ended up bed fishing by the end of the week. So I'm not super thrilled because obviously we want to win but you know that's part of it you can't win them all and uh congratulations to Fajita for winning that he uh he definitely live scoped us to death but can't thank this group enough guys we had a freaking blast this week stay here with tony and baby docs and it was it was fun i mean completely enjoyed every single bit of it probably a little bit too much but uh, i don't think you can ever have too much fun we enjoyed it can't thank them enough like i said and uh Hopefully we'll be back one of these days. You know, they might, they might, uh, their wives might tell them that we can't come back anymore too, so that might be an issue. But like I said, fun week, ready to do it again. And uh, heading to Fork next. We got us about a three and a half hour drive to get there. And uh, we gotta go bust a big bag there every single day, because they're gonna catch them. It's like they do everywhere. It's a big bass factory, so. Fleet of Ben, it's a wrap. See you next time.